free beer and hot wings in the morning. Grand Rapids rocks all day. WGRDFM Grand Rapids. 97.9 GRD. 97.9 GRD, the free beer and hot wings show. Partly cloudy, warm, and humid. Scattered showers and some thunderstorms later today. 84 the high. Uh, did you ever read a headline and then just some of the story before you regret it and also it's ruined your week? Uh, boy, I don't know. I don't y- think so. Yes, I have. Like this one. New grocery delivery service launches. <laughs> What's this world one. coming great. to? Oh, uh, boo. <laughs> no, this was, this was on Fox 17. It did not happen here. But the headline is just this. Like this really makes me sad and kind of queasy. Teen accused of tearing out 74-year-old relative's eyes with bare hands. That's not great. No. No. Thank you. Thank you. More, please. Is he okay? Ow. <laughs> he, uh, he, he's better than some. Is that good? Yeah. You know. Oh, that's pretty awful. He still lives in Rochester, Minnesota. So, you know. Oh, that's good. Well, land where... of a thousand eyes minus two. Well, where is he going to go? I'm going to drive away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a really bad story. Yeah, I'm it is. I'm glad that you I have don't, used humor. I have to. I don't like... Um, to make me forget. I don't care for stories like that. Nope. No, it gets worse as you read, and... Uh, I'm that's sure. Let's not do it. I'm, yeah, sure. I'm not. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I, I did it to me, and I'm not... It really did. That is a story that makes you sad. Mm-hmm. Did, you, did you see the, uh, of course, the, the vote comes up, uh, the primary vote is next week. And the one of the things that will be on the ballot in the fall, in addition to uh, marijuana being legalized recreationally, is the anti-gerrymandering anti-gerry- initiative, which where you get to draw the boundaries however you want to the yeah. gym. You're, so that your party has a distinct advantage. That. Um, and it, it, it and whatever party is in charge at the end of a decade gets to draw the districts how they want. Mm-hmm. That is such a crazy thing. That seems so counterintuitive. It is. It's it's nuts that whoever's in power can just shift it however they want yeah. to. Yeah. It's a really um, weird. I mean, I don't know exactly how you get somebody unbiased. I mean, I know that they're supposed to be independent, unbiased people that can do that yeah. kind of thing, but. Even so, it seems like everybody's biased now at some in some way or another. And obviously, populations shift and whatnot. Right. But surely, there's got to be a better way. Yeah. Like, I was, see, I was reading, yeah. I, I saw a thing where they were talking about how they do it, and both parties have done it. Uh, one party has done it better than the other one, but don't think the other one wouldn't do it. Uh, oh, recently, yeah. one party has done it better mm-hmm. than the other, but don't think that the other party wouldn't do it uh, or wouldn't like to do it better. But where they take, like, a... A city where the population is overwhelmingly from column A, and then they divide that city up into three different parts, so it's all part of three other districts. Instead of being one district that will sure go to column A, it instead makes it so it's watered down into three other districts right. that will all go to column B. Right. It's so shady. Oh, I thought you meant they were making it more fair for everyone. Well, what they'll do is the ballot proposal in november will make gerrymandering illegal right and then it would be done by a a non-partisan group comprised of republicans democrats and independents yeah so that's okay that's how it should be cool it is yeah. or just divide the population into even numbers and make the square i mean that's not possible because it changes but yeah the yeah the hard part on that is the the, the smaller localities but there's, on a statewide basis yeah. it'd be easy but, but when you see the districts and Oh, That's some of when them it's are crazy. crazy, but you know, some of them are crazy because of uh, just population or topography or anything else. Mm-hmm. So that, and then you factor in the changes. Now you look at a map, and sometimes it seems overwhelmingly biased, and in some cases, it might just be because there's little population there, right? And in other cases, it might look very benign, and then you know it gets broken down. And you go, "Oh my god, <laughs> this is ridiculous." Yeah. We don't know the answer, but there is one. And yeah. there, it should be. Yeah. Someone should be working on that because yeah. right now, another fact is that it's crooked as hell. Well, that's yeah. the thing. There's always an answer. It's just that uh, 
no one wants nobody to see actually it. No one wants, wants to fix it. Yeah, this is a uh, both sides act like they want to fix it, but they only li- they like it when they're the ones who can take advantage of it. Like this just is just a little bit the, of um, lulling that they're doing. Like, hey, mm-hmm. we're gonna pop this on here, and you guys will think that something is going to improve or yeah. change for the better, but it's not. It will be done the same way yep. as it always has. Just like this one, the it's the Michigan U.S. District 14, mm-hmm. which is in uh, Detroit, and looking at this district and it's i just picked this one because it was the last one to pop up uh that i mean that's it weaves through detroit it doesn't follow any pattern i'm sure it does if someone you know well it follows this pattern it's this got a little bit of pontiac going... bloomfield farmington hills and then down into oakland county all the way down through oh. hamtramck and uh, i guess you'd call that down river the pattern oh, no it's not it's a, it's it's uh north of downtown detroit and then down a little bit downriver. The, the pattern yeah, of that yeah. is we're going to draw these lines because this is the pattern of people that will do that will vote for that us. That we'll be able to win. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Letting either party who's in charge. Potentially, yeah. but Pontiac and Bloomfield would really cancel each other out. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. But then what's the pa- then why is it like that? Who knows? You know. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody. Yeah, and like maybe that one actually makes sense in some weird way. I, you know what? Like, I mean, who some knows? weird way. Yeah, some weird way is not how we should yeah. do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we maybe just but, divide it. But maybe the population in that in that case, because you met all those towns you mentioned, and I, like I having grown up in that area, I'm like, okay, let's see. Well, that's white. That's black. Okay. Well, that place. That's poor. That's rich. That's this. That I go. Man, it's, it almost seems like that one is even (laughs) now it's probably not but maybe it actually is yeah maybe that's one of the rare ones where the district makes sense but But you could divide that population up in ways that made a lot more sense geography like in that case you could move a very short distance Mm -hmm. and change districts or you could move a great distance and be in the same one yeah just depending on how you targeted your Mm -hmm. if that was something that was important yeah whatever there's no with the way it is there's no chance that it makes sense I'm just sticking with that. More than I'm likely. I'm just assuming it doesn't. More the than only likely. explanation is whoever put it that way benefited from it. Mm-hmm. Ten, you know, the last time it was up. Uh, this is a story about, remember when the, I guess it was probably like 2004, 2005 when the Kalamazoo Promise was made. That's still one of the more amazing things. And I'm not sure it got enough attention nationally where they said anyone who graduates from yeah, a Kalamazoo public school or, or a resident of Kalamazoo will yeah. get free college. Yeah, depending on how long they lived in the district. Yes. Yeah, you I mean, had it's... to do it from K. You had to go to school there from K through twelve. Yeah, um, is what I thought it was. I thought there was a percentage, like if somebody got there in eighth grade or or maybe in there sixth is. grade. I'm or sure something, there's some but... some fine print on it. But either way, what a but what an amazing but it was thing. Still, that yeah, it, is. it was still uh, yeah. Nonetheless. Um, even with things that are great, sometimes the, I don't know, the red tape or bureaucracy, people slip through the cracks. Right. And this is kind of, this is a real bummer story, which at this point. Worse than that one you started happy. this with? Yeah. <laughs> it might, yeah. This Can't might be. be a great story now at this point, or it may be fixed. But yeah. this was, it seemed like uh, this family and this young girl were kind of getting screwed are coming together for a teen who learned just in May that she might have to miss out on college. Yeah, you'll remember we told you about this yesterday. Just before graduation, she was told she would not be eligible for the Kalamazoo Promise Scholarship, but now the community is stepping up to help. Our Lauren Edwards is live in Kalamazoo with that exciting update. Lauren? Doug and Annie, I am so excited to bring you this update. I met with Xaviana Woodruff earlier today, and she's on cloud nine, guys. She cannot stop smiling because she knew that people would connect with her story, but what happened after we aired it is something she never expected. But you have been the talk of Oakland University. (laughs) I'm already famous, and I haven't even got there yet. (laughs) Xaviana Woodruff, all smiles, speaking to Brian Beerley, a media relations official at Oakland University, who saw our story. So I watched it this morning early and they kind of touched me and so I said you know what we need to try and help this young woman. Wednesday Fox 17 reported Xaviana was denied the Kalamazoo promise after her family became homeless for some time and ended up moving just outside the district which makes her ineligible. That was so that was the thing it was um so good she attended public schools there from kindergarten through 12th lived in the district in 2016 they became homeless they lived in a shelter for a few months 
and later moved to a housing complex on Gull Road. Wow. And they initially they said they were told that the new home was in Kalamazoo. Yeah. So they they didn't realize that they were even living outside of the district. And it seems like a family that the Kalamazoo promise um, is made to help. Was yes. yeah. like the spirit of it was right. yes. Right. So, so did the situation. She, go, so she did she attend the school the whole time? Yeah. So she was at the school the whole time. I'm mm-hmm. just living in a shelter or living but just living outside out of, of the boundary. Okay. Later they actually, so they went. Oh well, you shouldn't have even been in this district for those four months. Yeah, they said uh, they learned it was actually in Comstock Township, and that the KPS district line was across the street. Oh, oh thus, that's she was denied the promise. The Kalamazoo Promise issued a statement on Twitter saying they understand that some students may face difficult life, life circumstances that compromise their eligibility. In order to take these circumstances into consideration, appeal pro- an appeal process has been in place since 06. 400 students have accessed uh, and taken advantage of the appeal process. Unfortunately, not all are successful, is what they said. So and why it, wasn't how would that one not be successful? successful? I mean, I don't know. I, like, Again, I think it's I, what the other ones would be. It's, but, it's one yeah. of those like, well, if we do it for this person, then we have to do it for every person. No, I mean, you don't. Uh, you know, no. You don't have I to. Mean, I mean, yeah. But I, I mean, this one seems like a, a pretty good candidate yeah. for yeah, it. She attended the school the whole time. Uh, you know, that'd be crazy. different if she was delinquent. For four months, yeah, that would, you know, or yeah. truant, or Even whatever you want to say, though. but where you're just, where you just quit going, but you, but you're there the whole time, and you live across the street. I mean, how would I can see how somebody would not know? I mean, I know even the districts around here, the way some of them are drawn, it's like that gerrymandered sign or uh, uh, map that you just showed, right? Like Forest Hills is crazy. The way the district map is drawn, like it I remember is. when we moved to where we are at, and somebody said, oh, "What what elementary school where your kids go to?" And I go, "I don't know. I right. assume this one, but I don't know." And then when we found out which one, I'm looking at it and I go, "This is the craziest thing because we're like six miles or seven miles from the elementary school." Yeah, when you look at where that school there, district, there are a lot of people that are much closer to that school that do not go to that school. It's a but it's because of the way the population is drawn out and mm-hmm. where the schools are. So, I mean, I get it, but it is it is a little bit weird. And I can see how it would be very difficult or rather very easy for somebody to go, oh, I thought this, but this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when you're looking in, in those districts, you those are the ones you have to click on the map, like Rockford yeah. or Forest Hills, because it's like, you really oh, do. I, I wonder if this is near downtown Ada. That's That would be so nice to live over there. Oh, no, it, this is in Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. those are, it's such a giant chunk of land. Well, and it's even, it's like, and yeah. it's even, and it's even crazier than certain weird shapes. So you're like, because, like, where, where I grew up, I think it was just because there was enough population that it, it worked. But, like, in Oakland County, they were all townships, and every district was the township Mm -hmm. for the most part. That might be a little bleed over, but not much. It was pretty much a grid. And here, like, you know, between Forest Hills and Lowell schools, for instance, there's a road called Honey Creek, and it runs north and south. You would think that'd be the dividing line, but it's not – it kind of is, Mm -hmm. but – there, when you're driving up that road, if you were driving north, there are parts where the west side of the road is Lowell mm-hmm. and the east side of the road is Forest Hills. Right. But that's not how they are on a map. Right. <laughs> like, it shouldn't be that way. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. It's mm-hmm. really mind-boggling when you look at it. You go, I know, I'm sure this had a reason. But, well, part of it is I found out it was as simple as somebody who used to own that land. At one point, they had to make a decision. Like, it was up to them. Mm-hmm. What district do you want your land to be in? Oh, oh, wow. Nice job, Scooter. And so it was like, oh, well, I want it to be in Lowell. Okay. The, and uh, so. This woman, boy, smart of Oakland University to go, Oh yeah. hey, we see an opportunity. Yeah. yeah. We can give away a scholarship. Boy, that place is crazy. It's a bit... Uh, um. It's like it's almost like the uh, the gaming casinos and stuff. When I was a kid, Oakland University I cannot wait was to see where this goes. <laughs> <laughs> I was all I was going to say is Oakland University was 
literally a nothing university in the like the 1980s. Yeah. Nobody <laughs> cared about yeah. Oakland University. I yeah. got it. I was like, well, no, it was dinky. I cannot wait small. to see how this ties in. It's like a gaming casino. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is that you're gonna? Yeah, I was just yeah, saying, were you hoping based it was on like, the growth rate. It's gonna be another revelation about yeah. Hobbing's childhood. Yeah. Like, well, you know, I had a cabin in the woods <laughs> yes. and I rode BMX and I had a boat. <laughs> yeah. I also ran a casino at a college I where like, I was the no, president. No, but you see where I was going? That was a good comparison, yes. right? No, it was in terms saying, of the growth it. rate. Yeah. I knew yeah. it. I knew what you were getting. I at. wasn't saying you were gonna fail. I was saying Yes, you were getting No, I wasn't. No, that's I was just saying that this is going to be like um when I saw an episode of Shameless in the middle of like season three, and then I started at episode one of season one, and I went, I don't know how this gets to here, and it does eventually. Yeah. It's just like no, I don't you know thought how it's I was going to fail because you interrupted me. Um, <laughs> you had little faith, and I'm very sad about I, that. I had so much fun with you today, Joe. Just to explain <laughs> to you what I meant, yeah, and it had I nothing know. to do with failing. I heard, I heard your dopey excuse. Anyway, okay, go Sad. ahead and tell it again. I don't need I to. I ruined the I already, whole story. I already told it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there wasn't really much to it. Yeah. No, Is there really. more of this we need? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah we do. Well, actually, yeah, there, it looks like there's quite a bit. Well, I didn't know if we covered it all. I mean, it, I guess. I mean, she got the scholarship. Yeah. They're going to pay for her school at Oakland. Mm-hmm. Well, they didn't actually say that yet in the story, did they? Well, if they don't, well, then that guy's a real... <laughs> what, if it, what if it's like, sea sucker? we heard your story and they're, you know, we thought we would like to help Whoa. in some way. So uh, we are going to invite you and your family over for a weekend at Meadowbrook. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. That's The story was great. shared hundreds of times on social media, reaching leaders at the university. And now even the president of Oakland University has, has been included in the conversation. And uh, she has taken a personal interest in you. Fearley says they're sharing her GoFundMe page all over campus and looking to see what scholarships and they financial can aid they can offer her. And it made me emotional. Wait, okay, see, they're so not offering they're her not. a ride. <laughs> no. They're just they're saying, helping with they're the saying, GoFundMe and seeing if there's scholarships she can yeah. get. They're saying, mm. heck of a story. Ooh. We'll let some people know and... Good here's, luck. Here's where the problem That's solvers. Not what I thought it was going to be at go, all. Go knock on doors. How much does it cost to go to Oakland University? Well, how much does it cost for the know. university to let one more person in there? Yeah, Nothing. No, no, it doesn't. Nothing. Oh, they suck. I'm an emotional person. I have an ex a hard exterior sometimes, but inside I cry like a baby. The tears oh haven't stopped, nor has the outpouring of support. Her father overwhelmed and grateful for all the help. Thank you. I'd like to shake your hands, hug you, because this is something that we definitely would not have been able to do by ourselves. That's awesome. Yeah, he I seems mean, like a what? kind man. And they will find scholarships because there's so yeah. many that go unused because they're so specific and everything. Right. An incredible story for an amazing young woman. You know, I had to ask her what's her message now that she's gone through this and is still going through the process. And she tells me she just wants people to know to never give up on your dreams. If there's a will, there's a way. She is living proof of that. And if anyone would like to make a donation, you can head to fox17online.com. There will be a link to her GoFundMe page. Reporting live in Kalamazoo, Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News. You know, wow. and we, ju we just knew somebody was going to pick we that story it. up. We knew it. Such generosity, and I'm glad they're finding a way to make it work. Yes, well deserved. <laughs> you guys, you guys picked the story up. Yeah. You're the news. Yeah, you did it. Holy What's it at? Balls. What's the Let's hear it. Residents of Michigan pay an annual total price of $24,000 to attend Oakland University on a full-time basis. I believe the it's a fee, real university. The fee it's is not like the I know, one but, at late at night where some guy well, screams at yeah, you. Yeah, but 25, <laughs> nearly 25. Get a degree fixing toasters. No, I know, but what? nearly 25 grand a year is a lot. Yeah. Even now, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. It is. Because uh, it's 12000 for tuition, 9600 for room and board, 764 for books and supplies. So... Um, going back to Whoa. how they ended up in like another something else that they they did so that this would all work out. This was always on their mind when they when they signed a lease with the apartment. The apartment told them that a KPS bus would pick them up every day. He then learned that they were in the Comstock schools. Blah blah blah. He then filled out a form to request that they be allowed to go to the Kalamazoo schools. With that, he had to transport them his. Uh, himself and for the last year he drove them back and forth every day for the kalamazoo promise 
So there was an update on this. On Monday, Woodruff told Fox 17 that the Oakland University Financial Office contacted her and told her she is receiving a 100% tuition grant. There we go. She'll there still be is. responsible for her books at about $1,640. But the okay. GoFundMe is still up. It's at $17,838. Yeah. Oh, well, that ought to take care of books. Yeah. yeah. Even those big, stupid, How useless much? ones. 17000 Awesome. Yeah. Um, well, and if that's that just for tuition, she's man, still going to need a place to stay. That would have been terrible. If stay, excuse me. They went through all that, and and Oakland did nothing for. Her. Yeah, right. Yeah, they well, just we, said, we've, we've heard. heard boy. We put up some flyers on campus. Man, <laughs> we have heard. Oh um, yeah. yeah, they're they're like, well, we heard about this problem, and uh, Western's nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a little so it's KCC. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you play football? Those guys, we can give. A football player, free school all day. Yeah. No big deal. You don't even have to do your own schoolwork. Yeah. How's your bowling? 